Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes. Mercenary. Has anyone gone by here? Any men leaving without passes, that sort of thing? No, apart from you, no one. Is there a problem? Your commander thinks that someone's sneaking out to get together with the enemy. That's terrible. Who could do something like that? Anyway, I promise no one's been by here. You should go try the other gate, near the mercenary camp. And maybe the sentinels in the North Tower have seen something. I'm leaving. messed up everything was gonna be. You know what a pain in the ass it was hauling my cart here? 
I bet. But we're lucky you followed us. We could use a good blacksmith. Yeah, well, seeing what's left of the village, it's not like I had a choice. And with you around, business is better than ever. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Let's see what you... Elmar, you got a minute? Yes. I built your traps. Okay, here are your traps. Now you just need to put them in place. Thank you. I must admit that I'm relieved it was you who built them. I've been living in fear of messing up my hairstyle permanently had I tried to do it. I haven't been able to find any yet. If you wouldn't mind continuing the search, I would be truly grateful. Some of the stones might have been found already, but I'm certain that others remain. I'll leave. Mercenary? Have you seen anyone leave the camp? Apart from you, nobody. Are you sure? It's important. Certain. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to guard duty. Wonderful. Well, I've made progress. What do you think happened here? That we are no more than fucking insects to those bastard ice lords. Just one of them was able to wipe out this city with magic. We have no choice if we follow the rules. We have to find another way. Maybe your little flame problem could be a solution. Well, for now, we don't know shit. Tell you what. If you save our asses, I'll buy a round of drinks every day for the rest of my life. Now, that's the kind of motivation I like. How's the company doing? If you were to spend less time hanging around with your new friends, you'd know. It's not wine and roses. Already there weren't many of us, and now it looks like our only hope of success in this goddamn war is lying over there, colder than my granny's tomb. We can't last too long in this situation. The captain has to decide to make a move. 
I figure the Dead Walker army will find us before we get a chance to desert. I'm going. Good day to you, mercenary. What can you tell me about Mathras? He is a most unusual being. Do you realize he has been alive for over 6,000 years? Do you ever get the feeling that he's just talking bullshit? Even though at first sight such a long existence sounds impossible, he has knowledge of history that makes it very difficult for us to doubt his word. And his appearance speaks for itself. If I may be so bold. It's true that he does look a bit... ripe. As far as I understand it, he regularly changes his body. As soon as the one he's taken starts wearing out, he procures a new... frame? What is really fascinating is that he is the kind of... undead that was previously unheard of. We had no idea there was a being able to transfer their soul from one body to another in order to keep living. Remember that his knowledge could very well turn our vision of mortality upside down. And of course he might provide unhoped for help against the lords of the frozen shadows. What did I tell you? Once they've recovered from the shock of my somewhat shriveled appearance, everybody thinks I'm highly useful. He could really help us out. If only we could be sure he wasn't working for the enemy. You insult me yet again. Joining forces with a band of apprentice sorcerers with a thirst for power would be... unworthy of my condition. And didn't I already tell you how to enter the city? Some basic information that got you into our camp. Seems pretty clever to me. Really? What would be in it for me? Not that the company of these scribes is unpleasant. But I doubt that our simple little discussions will affect the course of the war. I can confirm that he hasn't ever been alone. But you look a bit preoccupied with something. Am I right? The commander says there's a traitor in the camp. And our new... friend... is obviously a prime suspect. What if he can read minds? Well, I think that the commander is wrong. We've spoken for a long time with Mathras. And I don't believe for a second that he's got anything to do with your problem. It's obviously very difficult to detect telepathic communication. But as far as I can see, there's nothing to indicate he's capable of it. Very well. I'll just have to trust you. I'll be going now. You'd know more about the Dead Walkers than us. Who do you think the spy is? Walking around in a dead body doesn't make one an expert on all other dead things, young woman. In fact, I find this suggestion vaguely insulting. But I have learned to trust my experience, something that you, despite your youth, should attempt to do also. I imagine we could quite easily reduce the possibilities. Firstly, the traitor must be able to enter and leave the camp without being stopped. Then, it must be someone who can observe your comings and goings without drawing attention to themselves. Lastly, it is someone who knows your plans. Someone who knows your military commander's orders. That alone excludes a large number, particularly the undead here. In your place, I should go and question the camp watchman. Logic suggests they will have seen something. Thanks for the tips. I'll get right on it. Talk to you later.
help you with something mercenary? Have you seen anyone leave the camp? Apart from you, no, I... So, wonderful. Hey, Buffalo. Have you had the time to talk? Yes, but they didn't say much. They were just as... You think they'll stay? I don't think they're... I'm going. Edwin, I need to speak to you. What can I do for you? I would like... I always hear... ...world heart. What exactly is it? First, forget all the children's stories about a friendly force for good, or its mythical dimension. The world heart is very real. It is above all a source of power. It is from there that magic comes, as well as certain energies necessary for the proper functioning of our world. These energies can be captured and used. That is what magicians do. In their own way, each draws his power from the world heart. The demon insists we must purify it. That mean anything to you? It's a good bet it is referring indirectly to the Ice Lords. As you know, those magicians have access to immeasurable power. This power has an origin and a cost. They drew it from the World Heart with a veracity that is truly limitless. Each of the Ice Lords' palaces has a portal linking it to the source. Imagine leeches sucking away endlessly on the energy which feeds them. To purify it, you'd have to rid the world heart of all those leeches. So, all we need to do is go to this place that nobody knows and clean out all the powerful magical parasites. Sounds like a plan to me. Aren't you cold like that? Are you afraid you're no longer the master of the situation? Because I'm showing a little too much skin. I was simply concerned about your health. Oh, how touching. But after having spent nights on end, trapped in a cage in the middle of the swamps, I can assure you that catching a cold is not highest on the list of things I worry about. We're gonna try to take back the town. Any suggestions? Yes, of course. You'll need to locate a unicorn, a few leprechauns, and perhaps a fairy or two. They your last best hope for retaking the town. So, you're saying it's impossible? You catch on quickly. The might of the entire elven army was swept away in a few minutes. The red scribes and freeborn blades are only a few dozen strong. Be realistic. Your allies are disintegrating. You'd be better off fleeing this place. And then what? Wait for the war to be lost? Put off dying another month or two until the Deadwalker army finds us? You could hide yourself and learn how to control your demon. I could help you and speed your progress. It's tempting. You know what? Why not? I'm getting a little tired of fighting for lost causes. Just let me get organized and we'll get the hell out of this town. I cannot allow me to simply flee. Step off of the path to the World Heart, and I will kill her. I will kill me as well, if necessary. Vulcan, are you still there? Did it speak to you? Yeah. Seems like she's not a big fan of our plan to run away. The need to reach its goal has grown too strong. Very well. Your demon will no doubt gain strength through combat. And this place seems the most appropriate. I'm afraid you might be right. What's the story with this Mathras guy? Who is he? It's hard to say. He's one of the living dead. Of that I'm completely certain. But he is able to do things no other species of remnant has ever done before. You must understand that necromancy, the magic that allows the dead to be reanimated, is based upon one principle. Giving energy to lifeless bodies. Mathras functions differently somehow. 
It is not his body that has been brought back to life, but rather his mind, which has survived his body. He says he's 6,000 years old. You believe that? It is entirely possible. His spirit is in theory immortal. This magic is far different from that which is practiced in Vertiol. Instead of drawing energy from the world heart, he draws energy directly from the body he is possessing. Could that have anything to do with the Ice Lords? Or my demon? Absolutely not. What happened to Carol Thass? Have you ever seen that before? Wait until your enemies have gathered and then take them by surprise using magic. The attack on this city bears the mark of Black Frost. To cast a spell capable of freezing a river, he would have to be here in person. It's possible that he's still in the area. He could be your key to the world heart. Find him and eliminate him and the door to your goal will open. It's the story with it. It, it, it. it isn't instead of... Could that have any absolute... Hey, thanks for your help. Without you, we would have never gotten anything out of that dead stiff. You know me, I just love to be helpful. Thanks. The mercenary salutes you, knight. I have a few questions. You mentioned the Order of the Ember Knights. What is it? It is the order that a knight belongs to. They are the surviving warriors and honored soldiers of other orders that were lost during this war. Okay, so it's kind of the Order of the Orphan Knights? This name does not sound well to his ears. Right, right. So you haven't always been an Ember Knight? No. He was first a defender of the Algander Islands. Then he was a Templar of the Order of Burgeons, and then a Brother of the Rock, and then a Summer Track. So, all of those orders have been lost? That must have been hard. He has lost many valorous companions in battle, but his heart is heavy with scars. I bet. What is the creed of the Ember Knights? The Knight has long searched for the answer. Now he knows it. To seek a glorious death and carry as many enemies as possible away with him. That's kind of depressing. Well, if you follow me, we should be able to get the chance for you to have your beautiful death. Maybe just don't commit suicide the first chance you get. The night will wait for this moment. Let's change the subject. I'll leave you. Hmm. Have you heard about all this spy business? Yeah, the elf commander told me. They suspect us. Us and the Red Scribes. Now that would be priceless if that long-faced twat accuses us of being traitors. Who do you think it could be? I confess that at first I thought it was your pal who looks like you just dug him up. Mathras? Honestly, I don't think so. I agree. I realize that since he's permanently surrounded by the scribes, he'd have a hard job finding the time to betray us. Do you think it's one of the scribes? That's possible. After all, it wouldn't be the first time they've shagged us while we had our backs turned. But whoever the mole is has to know their way around and not be scared to go outside on their own. Can you see any of those snot-nosed weeds taking that kind of risk? The most likely, whatever commander Pointy here thinks, is that one of his boys is a turncoat. Go and check with Buffalo. I saw him chasing one a while back. Considering the size of him, I doubt he caught the guy. I'll go ask him. You know, I... I gotta go. Buffalo, I have to talk. What do you want? You were seen leaving the camp. 
What were you doing? What business is that of yours? Are you spying on me? I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm supposed to be searching for a spy, and I need some clues. I was just out on a little recon. I don't see how that can help you. They told me that you were looking for someone. Yes. The soldier was on watch just over there. He left his post, was trying to follow him, but he lost me. He knows the terrain better than I do. I followed his tracks for a while, but considering the number of dead walkers in the area, I decided to come back. I didn't want to give away our position. Where did the tracks lead to? Over toward the river, but don't bother. The guard already came back. He's just over there. You could go and ask him yourself. I guess that's what I'll do. Thanks for the tip. Mercenary? I was told you left your post. That's... no, never. Who told you such a thing? You think I'd tell you? Come on. Tell me everything, or you'll really be in the shit. I... all right. I left, but only once. I was following your comrade, Buffalo. He went to the main gates of the city. I figured that was pretty suspicious. But I didn't dare go very far. I couldn't leave my post unguarded, you understand? And then the dead walkers didn't seem about to attack him. In the end, he went back without a scratch and without saying a thing. That's funny. Buffalo says you're the traitor, and that the reason he left was to find you. He's... he's lying! He's the one! I've heard rumors about him. Some people say he's immortal. How else can you explain that he gets out of things every time? You're talking bullshit. I've known him for years, and believe me, I've seen his blood get spilled more than once. He's got no reason to betray us. Reasons? Since when have mercenaries needed any reason other than a good payoff? It's said that dead walkers found you in the middle of a swamp. You don't find that suspicious? You lie with every breath you take. It's time for that to stop. Anyway, we're all going to die today or tomorrow. What difference does it make? But I'm going to come back to life. My master promised me. Yeah, and you'll be one more dead grunt in his mob, stupid idiot. <laughs> I hope you've got... Your traitor won't be a problem anymore. The bad news is you're down another soldier. I take it you're implying it was one of our own. Who? The one on guard below our camp. Rest assured, he won't be telling anybody anything anymore. But he'll have to be replaced, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry for the false accusations made against your comrades. Here, accept this gift as an apology. I'll be going now.
gods! Vulcan! Is that you? Headed the southeast. You'll find an entry in the support pillar. Take that passage, and then look for an opening in the cliff face. The rest of the company is hidden there. Got it. There's another camp of prisoners over there in the west. Not any of our guys, but, but maybe we should try to free them anyhow. Do you want us to give you a hand? No, get out of here. See you back at the camp. Good luck. Gonna need it.
Relmar, you got a minute? Yes. Here's all that I could find. I doubt I'll be able to find any more. Each stone that you can recover is precious. I can't thank you enough for what you've already done. You're giving us back our memories. I'll leave you here. Let's see what... 